I just go with my kids trick or treating. You know, but here's the problem. I'm very flattered people dress like me when they trick or treat. But it's weird when I go because I'm just hanging out with my kids. <laughs> they knock on the door, people are like, oh, look, little Batman, little Superman. Oh, Larry the Cable Guy, that's good costume. <laughs> then I always hear somebody from the back of the room. Who is it? He's dressed like Larry the Cable Guy. Then I hear, ah, that guy sucks. <laughs> What the hell? Next time I'm gonna go as Foxworthy, all right? That? That's right. <laughs> I don't care if anybody thinks he sucks. Uh, anyway, my cousin hates Halloween. Hates it. He says to me, I am so sick and tired of Halloween. I'm trying to watch a daggum TV show. Trick or treat every two minutes. Trick or treat. Gotta get up and give them can. I'm like, oh, calm down, <laughs> buddy. You ain't got to participate. There's ways you can get around the Halloween and kids. You know what he did? Went down registered as a sex offender. <laughs> I'm like, you do know all you got to do is turn your porch light off, right? You do know. That. <laughs> he goes, you think I done something stupid? Yeah, I think you done something stupid. You're the sheriff for heaven's sake. <laughs> I always check my kids' candy for poisons and razor blades. Hold on, kids, you can't eat that yet. I gotta check in for poisons and razor blades. They come down later on. Where's all our candy? And we live in a pretty bad neighborhood. I'll be honest with you. I swear we're gonna move next year, I promise you. They ruined everything? No, not everything. They didn't touch that box of raisins in there, but they, tell you what, them Butterfingers, they was riddled with poisons in there. <laughs> 